I'm Haley. Uh, I play the penguin, and welcome to Bat Vlog. Woohoo! Come on, man. Come on. Well, I don't do that superhero nonsense, okay? Batman. The Bat Vlog. Yeah, that's the Bat Vlog. All right. Well, let's do it again. Just kidding. No, we don't have to do it again. Doing great. So yeah, episode four, the Bat Vlog. Haley Johns is the penguin. Um, Matt Hunter is Bane. Yep. And as always, Greg Percy is the Dark Knight. And then so the Batman. <laughs> Pray to me. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the wrong call. <laughs> <My day. laughs> so Matt. You're coming from Yakima yep, right now. Unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. We thought about you several times, Greg, yep. during <laughs> pre-production when we thought about who could play Bane. And there were thoughts that were preventing us from attempting to contact you. Mo one was just the fact that you were in Yakima and we didn't <laughs> want to ask you to drive multiple times um, to film this and we weren't even sure if you'd even be interested. And no. um, I know we even had a couple people we were thinking, um, but we kept coming back to you and we even at one point decided, okay, let's, we had someone in mind we want to give him the role. And then I know Greg and I were thinking, you know what? We got to at least ask him. <laughs> Let's at least ask him. Then we I asked you and know. it worked out. Tell us about, tell us about that day. <laughs> well, like it also kind of helps because like a lot of people, well, pretty much everybody in the Seattle um, cosplay community that didn't know that I was from Yakima thought I was from Seattle. Yeah. Everybody in the Portland cosplay community thought I was from Portland just because <laughs> I'm always there. And well, before the quarantine, I was in those cities way more than actually being in Yakima, like on the weekends. And so like, I would say I would stay in Yakima like once, like one weekend every two months, just because I was in Seattle, Portland most of the time. So going to Seattle or Portland is not a huge deal for me at all. Like, like I said, if you live in Yakima, then you can understand why I was in other cities every <laughs> single weekend. And so, yeah, when you asked me, like, and we brought up me living in Yakima being an issue, like I knew it wasn't going to be an issue at all, just because, like I said, it gives me even more of an excuse to get out of here and go to Seattle. That was actually the first thing you said to me when I brought it up. You're like, I've been looking for a reason to go there. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Yeah. And so um, I've actually been, I, I own a house here in Yakima and I've been thinking about selling it and moving elsewhere. And so definitely would more than likely be like living around Seattle or so. So That'd be that would make it a little bit easier for in terms of like showing up. But even if not, it's not going to be a big deal because I'm always in Seattle anyway. <clears throat> no, there was a point when I thought you were from Seattle and then <laughs> I thought you were from Portland. Uh -huh. Which is funny that you say that because at first I thought that, then I thought that, and then someone else had to tell me that you were in Yakima. No, uh, I'm like, Yakima. Well, I, sure? it's, it's just unexpected because you would <laughs> think being so like I'm not even like I sometimes I can barely leave the house, you know. So um for you just to be so active. And I think that says something about you as a person that you are someone who wants to do things. And, you know, that's just the kind of person that we need for this movie. We don't want people that don't want to be here. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I was stoked when, well, first it was like Greg who uh, brought it up to me and I was completely stoked when he talked to me about it. And then when I talked to you, Anthony, about it, I was completely stoked. So. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be one of my all-time favorite villains. That's uh, some great stuff. Yeah, um, I love both iterations too of Bane. Like I love like the Dark Knight 
trilogy version of him and the comic oh, more yeah. luchador ish type band too man i love bane too like especially the comic uh vengeance of bane and even the redemption of bane like um yeah man and you know what's funny is i don't know if you read you probably read nightfall i'm sure oh yeah yeah uh, but you Broke know on the, the cover yeah on the cover of vengeance of bane it says on the bottom the man who will break the bat yeah yeah uh, I always thought that was pretty interesting because they, they're telling you, yeah, uh -huh. the hell of an issue. Yeah, and he's like one of those great characters that you can't really fault him completely because there is reasoning, and you know you're always a product of your environment too. So yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, it's just that's how it is. Yeah. Definitely a lot of like depth around him. So one of the big reasons why he's one of my favorite characters. And I don't know, have you guys watched the um Harley Quinn animated series? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Hilarious now. Oh, and, and Bane in it is like my absolute favorite in that too. So I he love is that one of, more of like the Dark Knight voice. He is one of the most <laughs> well done on the series. Uh huh definitely. I'm Brad, sitting what, in the little chair. What did you think? Uh, tell us about when we were thinking about getting Matt. Well, uh, um, it was kind of, he was really the first person I thought of as soon as we started talking about me kind of stepping away from that part and um, and taking on Batman. Um, I think I, he, I brought him up right away and we were both like, oh, well, I don't know what his experience is. He lives all the way over there. And so, yeah, we kind of bounced back and forth on it. And um it just you, we brought up a couple of people and then we just kept coming back to back to you, man. We had a feeling that we had to at least ask. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You gotta you gotta have the ask at least. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, uh, I think we kind of we circled around it a couple times and eventually, uh, you said, well, you, since you know him, why don't you start start the conversation, see how he even reacts to it. And uh, I, I messaged him. He responded right away, and I was like, okay, so I think we might have something here. That's what we want. People that want to do it. And you were telling me, man, how you had, because I was wondering, Greg, one of the questions was, how would, would he be comfortable acting? And then I contacted him and you were telling me about the movie that you just did. Yeah. yeah. So um, there was a film, well, there's a small film festival that takes place here in Yakima. And so they'll use like a few of the directors there will film like one movie a year. And um, that got postponed because it was supposed to be premiering uh, in a couple months, but definitely not going to happen. Um, but it's sort of like a Venom-ish character that I played. Oh, nice. And so uh, basically, um, Guy and his wife gets killed, um, but he ends up getting like taken over by this black liquid substance kind of a thing. <laughs> and so they already had um, the guy like playing like the main actual character, but they needed somebody um, that they wanted to be basically like when he transforms into uh, like this like black built monster looking thing. And so, <laughs> and that's basically like what I had played. Nice. And we shot quite a few scenes and um, I haven't, well, I've seen a few of like the video shots of it and I have some like screenshots that I can go ahead and like send you guys. Yeah. Um, but I haven't cool. seen the, like the full movie yet. But yeah, that was like six months ago, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's be exciting to check it out when it comes out. Maybe yeah. we might even have to go to the festival and check it out, Greg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be you guys awesome. Open up again and we can come visit. <laughs> yeah, hopefully sometime in 2021. Yeah. If we're lucky. <laughs> you know, have you seen one called, uh, I think it's called like Beneath the Skin? It's got a. Scar Jo is in it. It's she's kind of plays a character kind of like that too. Oh really? I, I've seen like previews for it. It's the one where she kind of has like choppy hair, isn't it? It's like a sci-fi like, yeah, like psychological. It's a, sci it's a sci-fi one, and I think it's in the future. And uh, I don't want to spoil it because man, it's man, it's good. But um, mm. yeah, she plays kind of like a symbiotic type of character as well. I think you. Just talking about that, I think you might appreciate that role because it sounds uh there's a couple similarities. I think you'd get a kick out of it. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Put it on my list. I think it's the I think it's even on Netflix right now. Nice. I think so. 
uh, Christian Larkin. No. He's playing Black Mask. Um, tell us about getting the role and what it means. Um, it means a lot to me. You know, I always thought Black Mask was kind of one of those underrated villains <laughs> that Batman's had. Definitely. And, you know, I had the suit and all I really needed was to get the mask and I'm waiting for it. So to come, but I'm a huge Roman Sionis fan. And, you know, people say Birds of Prey was bad, but I have to admit, Ewan McGregor did great. You know, he, I don't know if you guys seen that movie, but he, I mean, everyone loves Harley. Yeah. But Ewan McGregor has the memorable performance in the role because he just took that and went a whole different direction than your traditional black mask. And he just did such a good job, man. Really good job. Haley Johns. That's me. Penguin. The you screen know. sucks because I only <laughs> see about, about, there we go. Now I can see it. Um, you got the role of the penguin. Yeah, I do. I, <laughs> I met you at Eric Mannix's photo shoot, like, I want to say two months ago, but two months to me sometimes is like six months ago. I think oh, I think that was the last shoot I ever did before Corona. I think it was February 29th. It was like right before four months. Everything shut down like a week before. <laughs> but yeah, that was super awesome. I was telling Michael because that's the first time I met him too. But I remember when I met you, you had first Michael of all, I'm a huge, huge penguin fan, and it's hard. <laughs> to ever see Penguin doesn't get his due. He's one of the oldest villains of Batman. Yet um I get I think it's maybe because he's a normal kind of human kind of so people <laughs> rather be a superhero or something. So it's hard to come across a penguin. That's what she said. Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry I have a problem. And you can't use that line nowadays. But but um, meeting you has such an impact. And I know it doesn't really seem like a big thing, but it's like one of those butterfly effect things. Cause, um, and I think we talked and we wanted to uh, have the idea for the movie and wanted to make sure to incorporate you into it. And luckily you were nice enough to oblige. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm super honored. I love Penguin, but it's kind of funny because the Penguin that I loved Penguin through was like not the Peng not like Danny DeVito or anything. It was from uh -huh. watching Gotham, which is just like not the show most Batman people would respect, you know, as an in. <laughs> but hey, um, meetings, right? but I really fell in love with their like their take on Penguin on a younger Penguin. Um, I have a chronic pain condition. I have a brain condition. Um, and I spend a lot of time thinking about like reclaiming that identity for myself of having living with pain and how to kind of claim that as something that is something that I can be proud of. And so for me, seeing Penguin in Gotham, the way they marketed it is his name started as this in the Gotham version, at least of this accident. You know, he had chronic pain and he had a limp and people made fun of him and called him a penguin for how he walked. And he took it and reclaimed it and was like, heck, yeah, I'm a penguin. <laughs> like, yeah, that's something I am. OK, what about it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I love that. I find a lot of empowerment in that, which is like the weirdest thing. I don't think that's what most people think of when they think of penguin at all. Um, but yeah, penguin means a lot to me in that form, if that makes any sense. I mean, yeah. I like Penguin next year too. I liked uh, Penguin and Gotham. I thought that was probably one of the best characters. Oh yeah. I think what they did with Penguin and Riddler really kept the show going for as long as it did. Mm -hmm. But 
yeah, I got to meet the actor who plays Penguin, whose name is Robin, which just makes it all the more confusing. Wow. <laughs> but um, awesome. the um, actor who played Penguin um, at a con in Portland in January. Why am I blanking on the name? But there was like nobody there, but he was there. <laughs> and it was super fun. Uh, I got to meet him and he was super awesome. And I got to talk to him for a little bit because the con, there was nobody there. It was just super empty. <laughs> Did, yeah. did you have to have your penguin outfit on? Yeah, I had penguin on and it was hilarious because even though he was there, nobody else was cosplaying from Gotham and I was cosplaying with another friend as Riddler and we made the trip down to Portland in a day. It was a very last minute thing. And um, people thought we were Beetlejuice. Like I, I, cosplayed, <laughs> I cosplayed Arkham Penguin. So it was oh. like striped prison suit and nobody thought we were Penguin. More people called us Beetlejuice, which was just kind of funny. Um, <laughs> Wow. Because it's just, it is not a recognized, it's not what people think of when they think of Penguin. They think of the monocle and they think of Danny DeVito or they think of a more classic comic version. And <clears throat> there's just a lot of variants of Penguin out there. So <laughs> it'll be fun tell to us, contribute to that with the film. Tell us about your friend there, your Penguin. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I brought my stuff here with me today on brand and um this penguin actually the time i debuted arkham penguin um as a cosplay um i had cosplayed penguin mayor cobblepot before um uh, but i had never done an arkham version and so when i first debuted that at like an open shoot in seattle a couple years ago now um and i did all my beat up bloody makeup all this stuff and um when I, I had met a bunch of cosplay people for the first time there. And so I got gifted this penguin in a pub and it was a, just a very strange experience. I it was like beaten bruised with my black hair in a pub, getting handed this massive stuffed animal. It's quite big. Uh, <laughs> and it, but it awesome. just reminds me of the cosplay folks because um, we usually see each other online and not as tangibly. So mm. yeah, it was just a nice one of my favorite for me of that. Is cosplays outside of where a cosplay should be? Mm -hmm. When we were at uh, when we did the uh, Wolverine Chronicles, and I was at uh, we were at that restaurant or the food store or whatever, and I'm just in the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but when oh, we that did is it, the best moment. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best moments or going to the gym is Drax. Oh, that's a flex. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> like that's I'm just I'm not even gonna even shower. I'll just do it in the morning. <laughs> that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, it has such a, like, I don't know, Avengers shawarma moment where they're just sitting there, like, I love after shoots when you're just all in costumes sitting in some poor civilian <laughs> place and everyone's like, just, did we miss the memo? Or when you're on public transit, they're like, oh, is it Halloween? Like, are you dressing up? Are you going to a costume party? And then you just act like it's normal. Like, no. Why? What, what? <laughs> yeah, I think I was Penguin actually and I was because I do Penguin a lot and I was at a Starbucks and they asked my name and I said Oswald uh, and the gal like didn't bat an eye and then she gave us our drinks and she goes oh like Oswald Cobblepot <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> best moment <laughs> that's awesome it was really a peak moment in my life I've shown up to uh, pick up pizzas uh, Spider-Man a few times Nice. Very on brand. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And I, I always love like the weird looks you get uh, like, when you're in a hotel and like yes. you first get down to the lobby and like everybody there seemingly has no idea what a con is and so they're just staring at you. <laughs> All the poor business oh, people yeah. there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or if you're in a small con, the other convention sharing a space. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like yeah. there's always some wedding dress can like i feel like there's always some <laughs> wedding thing and there's people walking around in suits and then there's suit like suited penguin or something and they're like what <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's always fun though walking down the street and people yeah. yelling out of their car and honking <laughs> at you yeah done that quite a bit Haley, <laughs> you're in a movie this year tell me uh how do you feel about bringing Oswald to life on the the, the big little screen. <laughs> oh, the big little screen. Are you referring to me being little on the big screen? No. Talk about, <laughs> talk about the widescreen internet browser <laughs> on your TV. Uh, I am nervous, but I'm excited. Um, it's kind of funky, you know, I'm a gal, 
So <laughs> playing Penguin is a funky thing, but I'm honored that you're, you know, invited me to do it. Um, obviously, I've said before, Penguin means a lot to me. Um, and it's been interesting in terms of just uh, Penguin is a character where he has a lot of different forms. Um, I don't look like Danny DeVito. <laughs> I don't, you know, have that wonderful physique. You know, if I tried hard enough during quarantine, maybe I could <laughs> pull out for that. I know some of the people in this chat are going the opposite direction for their roles, but, <laughs> you know, nice. uh, like I said before, the Penguin I fell in love with was um, the Penguin from Gotham. And he, we have like the same, we're the same height, pretty much, same shape pretty much even <laughs> um so i take a lot of inspiration from that um mm. and i think it'll be fun uh and uh hugo um the, michael who's playing hugo um we've worked before uh, together before which has been really fun uh, about that same batman shoot you mentioned mm -hmm. we had a lot of fun dynamics getting penguin and um strange photos together so that was really fun with a lot of acting just kind of bickering in between which yeah. was really fun um yeah so i'm excited yeah, it's going to be real exciting. Matt, tell us about your first uh, your first meeting with Batman. The first time you ever, Batman first came into your life, and how did you feel, and what did it mean to you? For some, like, Batman as a character, or for some Greg came into my life? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll make it a two-part question. <laughs> but we'll start with the bad man in your life as a kid. And did um, you instantly know you wanted to break me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, first time Batman as a character, probably Batman the Animated Series. I don't remember, like, well, Batman in the Animated Series was, like, my all-time favorite cartoon growing up. That and Gargoyles. Um, but Batman the Animated Series was definitely, like, top dog for me. Um, so that's my first memory of ever, like, falling in love with, I guess, the Batman mythos. Um, and, yeah, of course, Bane was also one of my favorite characters. I've, I've always kind of gravitated towards the brutes. <laughs> and so I love, like, the brutes in terms of, like, villains and stuff. And so I don't know, I've always just had a thing for, for Bane then. Um, but, yeah, that's honestly the first time I can ever remember, like, loving Batman. Greg first came into my life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we were friends on Instagram first and then met in person at Emerald City Comic Con. Yeah, Comic -Con. I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it was the last Emerald City. Yeah, with uh, when I was walking around with my son on my shoulders, right? Yep. 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 That was it. yep. <laughs> so those are the two moments. Yep. Let's throw in a Bane question. First time you ever saw Bane in something. What what did it mean? And what was it? Well, the and first time seeing him animated was in the Batman the Animated Series. First time outside of animation, probably Batman and Robin, the Joel Schumacher film. Um, so, and I actually liked that version of Bane. <laughs> Um, he looks more like the comic book version, obviously, with like the venom tubes and everything. Yeah. Yep. But um, yeah, that was probably the way my first time seeing him like live, I guess. Christian, Yo. what about the first time you ever encountered Batman in your life? First time I ever encountered Batman in my life was batman returns i remember my mom taking me to the movies to go see it and ever since that day my life has changed and i've loved batman since then i've seen the other two batman movies in theaters i think i've pretty much seen everyone except for adam west in 89 nice Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is there pressure to make sure you deliver the best performance you can in our movie? Mm-hmm. What are you doing to... You phrase it like that. Of, <laughs> what are you uh, doing to uh, kind of get into the role and to prepare? I'm doing quite a few things. I'm watching a lot of, like, old gangster movies, 
Yeah. So I've probably watched Godfather several times <laughs> by now. Um, Essential research. Got uh, this Batman Arkham Black Mask like graphic novel that I've been slowly reading. That just stories like his greatest stories. And then the last thing I'm going to do is uh, probably watch Under the Red Hood several times, just his scenes. How do you get into when you're, say you're doing your lines and you're rehearsing, how do you, how do you get into the headspace when you're sitting there looking at the lines? Um, I'll usually throw something. Because, you know, Black Mask is a... I love that. <laughs> it's like a up-down thing, like with his voice and how he acts. Like, you don't oh, know yeah. what you're going to get. Like, he could be pissed off. And then, you know, he could be a little more relaxed. You just don't know what he's going to give you. Sentinel, what do you think of all this stuff? As far as uh, his preparation? Yeah. Everything. 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 Oh man, I'm just excited, man. I've been, uh, I've been, you know, reading a lot of comic books I've, I've collected over the years and just um, watching a lot of the Nolan trilogy. Did go back and watch 89 Batman again just because it's the hey, still Batman on film. <laughs> Got my son a, a Lego Batmobile that we built together. So we did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, but no, I've just been playing with the voice quite a bit. Uh, going to one of the questions Christian had, or well, you asked Christian is uh, oh. before I start messing with the, the Christian Bell Batman voice just throw on some DMX and just sing along <laughs> nice. I can't yeah. just mess up my throat and <laughs> get in there let's go give it no, to those, you those plays exactly. are important to get in the vibe <laughs> exactly yeah. yeah so I just uh, been doing that to mess with my voice quite a bit and then uh, <laughs> then uh, I've been playing with the different levels that Christian plays or Christian Bell plays with uh, in the in the movies because he has one that's a lot more whispery and then he does one where he's not quite Batman. He's like talking to Alfred, but still got some Batman qualities to it. And then the full on intimidation version. So I've been playing with all of those and, and uh, uh, did a couple of readings back and forth with uh, um, some, some family members just trying to make sure I knew where those would fit in best. Cause you mm -hmm. can't just like throw out whatever one you want, whenever you want. But <laughs> yeah, just been, uh, been really just getting, getting into it. I did get uh, the first part of the, the bat suit that just came in the other day. Oh, nice. Here you go. Here. <laughs> Un unveiling. Oh my word. Woo! Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. So I've just been wearing that a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Awesome. laughs> uh, you wear it to the gym as your uh, weight yeah. belt or I just wear it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm excited to uh to kind of square up with all you villains. So <laughs> <laughs> of course, Matt, we got a fight scene. Oh, well, you can't have a Batman movie. That has Bane without some kind of fight scene with Batman and Bane. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I know one thing that we might have to fix before filming is uh -huh. like, because I don't know if I've ever showed you guys my tattoos, but mm -hmm. if like my tattoos are showing, I'm going to look like a Bane who's also a Batman fanboy. Because <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see, but I've got Batman tattooed. Like right that is that's such a funny plot thing though. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got Batman tattooed right here, and then I've also got another Batman somewhere right there. Oh nice. <laughs> so I, I've got Batman cool. tattooed on me twice. So there's there's this uh skin makeup stuff that uh yeah, Julian used Greg during the Wolverine. No and just need to match up your skin tone because he had me buy it and I don't know his skin tone, so I'm trying to mash that to a picture yeah. and then we get it and it's like it's just a little off. So mm -hmm. um there's okay. a chart. Yeah. You know, just hold the chart up to your arm with the thing and then you'll find the right tone and we could just rub it right on you. You won't even see it. Or you know, I I wonder if they would they would actually see it, or maybe it'd be a nice Easter egg. I don't know. Maybe it'd be <laughs> Maybe we could all do it. I'll I'll get my a temporary Batman tattoo on my arm. And <laughs> like, what's going yeah, on with these yeah. villains? <laughs> Let's get a red tattoo that has a, a X through it for you. We all get them. I'll get a full <laughs> Edward tat right here. Just Edward Nigma across there my back. 
that would be pretty funny too during a fight scene just like if we just stop and if batman's just like wait what? is that me i don't want to get weird or anything yeah exactly this is a really weird game i don't know how i feel about this <laughs> Yeah, that would be an awesome like scene to film as like an outtake or something. Oh. Abby doesn't do ships. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I have a feeling we'll have a nice uh, outtake reel. That's yeah. how we're done. Yeah, I can't wait I'm going to probably accidentally drop into Lego Batman a few a few times. Please honestly. do. Um, I'm sorry. Nice. Not to be controversial, but Lego Batman is my favorite Batman. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Remember, Greg almost talked me into. Had doing Lego Batman's voice instead of uh, <laughs> instead of Christians. We can, you know, that's a good outtakes moment of doing some of the lines in the Lego Batman. <laughs> it's difficult because I'm trying to get the raspiness, and then there's some of the lines that they just they all of a sudden turn into Lego Batman. I like, <laughs> I think Penguin in that film is actually just a bunch of penguins. I don't think he actually exists in that film. I think there's just a bunch of tiny Lego penguins. <laughs> actually speaking of Lego, you know, Lego Penguin, but I'm gonna have to go watch that again. I had to watch it a couple times with my younger cousin. You <laughs> yeah. Haley, you don't want to wear like the Danny DeVito like khaki pajamas <laughs> that you wore in bed you know, that romper. Yeah, um, the romper. <laughs> you know, I really I think I could rock it. I really do. Um I think you could. <laughs> I just, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I, I think, it, that, I mean, that is a, it's a joke question, but also a genuine question of like deciding what penguins I'm channeling. Right now I have my Arkham a prison suit and I have full, which I think is the scene is written, this escaping from Arkham. So that would be what I'm wearing. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah. so, but you know, if I, I'm going to rock the long johns, like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't think you want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a good prequel scene. Yeah. When when we meet up with everyone, we want to get everyone's pictures, a bunch of pictures, but we also want to shoot little 30 to one to two minute little what were they doing right before the movie. You know how when a, yeah. Matt, when a movie comes out, Marvel will go and do a bunch of prequel issues of it. So it's kind of like oh, the same type of idea. Check in. That'd be awesome. <laughs> a little teaser. So in one you guys have somewhat of input, not too much. Because <laughs> people never know what's good for. No. That but is fair. <laughs> no. Um, and also a promo clip for in our shared universe for you know DC's having an event this year mm -hmm. yeah, with a you bunch of other guys. Haley, you know, I've mentioned it a couple times. Um it's like in August and there's going to be a lot of eyes, a lot of potential support for a movie, a lot of interest for a movie. So we were wanting to make like a little 10 minute, little short kind of based off the almost got them episode of the animated series. <laughs> so Matt, if you happen to have everything ready, no later than July, second week of July, we can have Bane in there and you can even have one of your stories because like it's a imploration of the almost got him scenario. Okay. Yeah, hopefully oh. I'll get the mask by then. Um, so I talked to this guy, um, he owns the company Ministry of Masks. He made um, my, because my best friend also cosplays as Bane and um, he has a really, really good Bane cosplay. And um, the person that he got his mask from uh, is where I'm getting my mask from. And um, the guy said that he has an even more like accurate mold of it. Mm -hmm. oh, and uh, which is crazy because um, my, my best friend's mask looks exactly like, like Tom Hardy's mask. And, um, but he said that he's still working on like piecing together some parts of like the mold before he actually like puts it together. But it's, um, I'm pretty excited by that one because it's actually going to, that's bendable, I guess, as opposed to like 3D print, which would be like, oh, yeah. face. Mm -hmm. like this will be able to like mold to my face a lot better. Now you can um, wear it to the grocery store. <laughs> but like once he, like he gets his mask in, well, once he can deliver it to me. 
Well, no rush. We don't want to rush. You don't want to rush profession. And we just figured the <laughs> opportunities presented itself in um, anyone who is available who might have these things ready. That's what could be open. Um, yeah. But like we said, no rush. We rather, it's not as important as the movie. Like Batman's costume is not all the way done. He's got a couple pieces we could fudge for Batman in the shadows type of things <laughs> in the in the thing, but we can't do a full reveal on him because he doesn't have it. So don't. Yeah, I'd, I'll be able to join for that. Just for me with my hair stuff for Penguin, um, it costs me a fair amount every time I want to do it because my hair is so thick that I, I paint my hair black, essentially. <laughs> Um, I'm working right now to figure out a way to do it with a wig, but for accuracy's sake, it looks the best painted. So I just have to know in advance so I can buy stuff for my hair. Okay. Kind of well, thing. but I know we're aiming for end end the second week of July just because to give everyone as much time mm -hmm. as possible. But if we figure out earlier, we could shoot it earlier. Um, but yeah, it'll be in July, definitely. Uh, most likely the last two weeks of July in. Um, then we got to get it edited because it got to be in at the end of July. So Exciting. be a tight, tight really? thing. But, you know, opportunities, sometimes they come up and doesn't mean that there's not work involved to get that opportunity. Oh, yeah. And it would definitely be worth it because who else is, would make a film to submit? <laughs> well, anyone's thoughts on Batman movies just in general and actually being in a batman movie i'm excited for this movie yeah uh, i'm excited like i want to start telling people but i wasn't too sure like if i can start like yeah announcing yeah, it right. until like um because i don't even have the headshots yet so yeah. hopefully i'll get those done with Eric. you know what we never did a oh wait we did uh one with your your cosplay shot so at no. least we introduced you to the people um, yeah. yeah, uh, you know what, we'll, I'll re-mention with Eric about getting a time. If you're, uh, let us know what weekend works best. I, I know he said the 20th, but I think that was this past weekend. So I guess, yeah, that's don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. And, you know, we'll have other people there. Like if you're coming, I'm sure Greg will be there. I'll be there. Eric will be there. Cause we all want to meet you and talk. And anytime anyone is going to these things, we'll, like I, I might not need pictures, but I'll be there so we can meet and stuff. And, yeah, yeah um, that'd be awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, man. Um, this is gonna be great, man. We're on the verge of greatness. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Study times. There's a joke, guys. Maybe I'll get your input of uh, potentially as a fundraising thing. There's two ways we can think about the movie. One is we have a budget, uh, but said budget does X amount. Um, the other thing would be, hey, if somehow this amount was available, we could do this. You know, like one of the things would be to try to get a real Batmobile here, uh, stuff like that. So one of the ideas that we kind of had when we were playing around with it at first was, uh, you know how they have those little uh, cheesecake calendars? So like a bat cheesecake calendar, which is just, it's kind of like when Marvel did the Marvel swimsuit issue. Like like a, like a fireman calendar? Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's villains and heroes and just characters from the movie. And like, we were talking to Alfred and we had a joke about it where like his spread, he would have like a t-shirt on still because you know how those, older traditional guys will have the, the shortcut shirts on with some boxers and like uh he'd have like the long it. socks with the suspenders on and like but, that would be, <laughs> but he'd have like his little champagne glass you know so it doesn't have to it doesn't have to actually be sexual it just has to be fun or it has to like i'm sure some people are gonna want to be like oh I'm posing down and I'm sexy, which yeah, do it because bring out the. This is when I'll bring yeah. out the long johns, guys. Yeah, yeah. watch yeah. out. Yeah, exactly. It would be perfect, but Terrifying. just putting out there that that could like it started as a joke, but it seems like a way because let's face it, most of these people that are buying stuff, they're freaking they're perverts anyway. 
<laughs> so it is best not to take a five account. Like, I think I'm, I'm going to confuse a lot of people if I do some sexy penguin well, shots. They're going to feel real conflicted I, about their life real fast. Well, I mean, people, are, that's, people are waiting for stuff like that. <laughs> we live in a different world now, too. Guys, that is so. best to... It's best with these things not to take ourselves too seriously as well. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. It, I think there is. I mean, if people wanted to go really sexy with it, I think there's room for that. But I think there is fun to be had and kind of taking the idea and playing around with it, like you were saying, with Alfred's concept and like in the style of that kind of calendar, but having fun with it and I don't know, whatever people are comfortable with, well, of course. Yeah. Because how seriously can you take something like that anyway? Like, if you got <laughs> Batman in a Speedo and he's, like, flexing with his mask on, <laughs> like, you know, like a Schwarzenegger, <laughs> I'd be looking at, like, you, you, you can only take it so seriously. <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe even Batman's picture could have Catwoman in it and double up because they're... <laughs> whoever wants to do it will make sure to accommodate who's available like if there's ended up being 24 people then we could do a men's calendar and a women's calendar or something like it doesn't matter we're just looking to try to make the movie better that's all yeah like uh if we can get a better graphic artist than what we have in mind stuff like that because some of those things like the bat cave like that it has to be right you know like um there's those certain things that are the cost like the batmobile the batman jumping off the building you know stuff like that um they got to be right man otherwise what are we doing like we'll we'll do the best we can we'll you know if we have to do less than we will but like it's not written to be Oh, here's another special effect. Here's another one. Here's another one. But there are certain things that people expect in a Batman movie. Like they expect to see the Batcave. They need to see the Batmobile. They got to have this, you know. So he got to jump off the building at least once. I can only do it the one time if we don't get the funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you had mentioned that August premiere. That's an exciting potential, and that like having a funding in place for if people and people start learning about the project and having like a place that they can go donate or things like that. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of different ways I feel like to go about it. Like you can do flat donating or you can do like, you know, a pledge type thing or, you know, one of the calendar, the calendar could be on that, you know, yeah. if you pledge 30 bucks or whatever, if you pledge 10, you get this. If you pledge, I think those kind of systems can work well. Yeah. Um, I'm Patreon not an happen. expert, but. <laughs> I think another thing, if we can get our mini project in front of DC and the, all their fans, that could just be the shot in the arm we need. And we could actually like make this, like the, the potential could be unlimited, but we don't want to count eggs before they're hashed, things like that. We just see the potential and we see the opportunity and we see ways we can make this better. Um, like Matt, uh, one of the things was, you know, when we were talking about casting as Bane, and like there's been roles in the movie where um, there's a certain level of expectation from an individual. And um, sometimes you have to put things like friendship and things like that aside for the better of the project. So, say you got a guy who's in the movie because he's your friend but he is this kind of influence and it is negative impact for whoever, then it'd be best for the movie to have someone who is in that role as a positive person and wants to do things and will be there and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, you got to think of it. It's being selfish if you think of it less than that, you know, because everyone's involved. You guys are here. Everyone's here. Um, can't be the one who's like hey well this guy everyone hates him but i like him let's put him in this role and then <laughs> there's no there's no gelling when it comes to filming those scenes and then you got people holding back because they don't feel completely comfortable or you know whatever it is yeah the interesting the cinderella mug <laughs> <laughs> forgot about that 
Let's go on. That on one side, and then full gown. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> you're, but, you know, I you're putting my penguin mug a little bit to shame, um, but on the inside, princess. So I could always remember. You, you are a princess. I will always remember when I drink it. <laughs> it's good to know your worth. I'm royalty. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> now, well, if only the world knew. One thing I just thought of, Anthony, when we were talking about the promotional stuff for the DC event, is What's that? that one of the ideas I just was thinking about when we were talking about not having mm -hmm. that ready. Yeah. One of the promo promos uh, we could do, um, like, say, somebody uh, either um, tries to rob or kidnap Bruce Wayne. If I get the wig ready in time, I got a three piece suit, man. We can do that. Yeah. I'll do it. That way it kind of ties in the whole dual identity kind of thing. So mm -hmm. maybe it could be like Sionis because, you know, yep. his backstory is he hates Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Wow. That's going to work with, with us, man. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever we got, we'll make it work. Yeah. Man. We just need to know what we got. Yeah. I'm exactly. like, I can do suited Oswald too because I have his, I have my mayor bat. I've made mayor badges of him campaigning and i've made tons of them <laughs> so i can go around campaigning i have there you go <laughs> what you can make cool. campaign promotions <laughs> Plus it'll, it'll it give is, you... the elections are coming up you know yep. vote cobble pot <laughs> plus it'll give you a, another look so yep. in between that time and between the movie somehow you went to jail <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it happens you know Iceberg Lounge got shut down because of COVID, and it happened. So. <laughs> you had to get <laughs> money take somehow. it on the curb. <laughs> yeah. I want all you guys to think about a uh, concept for your your sneak peek, the prequels I was telling you about. Um, like I said, it's we only could really do about thirty seconds to two minutes. So whatever the concept is has to be within that time frame because mm -hmm. it's it's just a, like a teaser. So, and if it's doable, as long as it's not like production wise, like out there, we could do almost anything. We got green screens, we got stuff, we got locations. So let us know when the time comes because the time will be coming soon. Yep. We want to have these like dropping once a week mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to a certain point. Yeah, I guess any ideas, just bring them up so that way we all have them. To work with right but make sure you write them down in your little i iphone notepad <laughs> because um you can tell me them now but it's not going to help <laughs> yeah. that writing for that script because by the time that comes that's going to be like a weeks away and you know how many things I write down around here? You know how long it takes me to find a picture on my phone sometimes? <laughs> you know how long it takes me to find a script to send you a PDF file? Every time someone's like, hey, can you send me a PDF file? It takes like five minutes. Well, I have the link saved now, so I can do that if anyone asks in the chat. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm there for everyone, whatever they need. So I don't want to burden you with extra things, but but there's always a but. <laughs> but Haley, um, we're gonna have a whole list of stuff we were taking suggestions on mm -hmm. from people like, hey, who knows the best value for a graphic designer? Who who yep. does anyone have access to a rooftop? Because we want to ask the group before we go ask someone that we're oh, yeah. gonna pay, because that saves budget for making other things bigger too, like. I'm telling you, Batmobile, if we can get that Batmobile, if we can make that green screen Bat Cave look right. And Matt, we have an idea too for Greg, your guys' fight. Um, Haley, remember at that um, photo shoot for Mannix, that little pier thing that was right next to it? Yeah. Imagine you guys fighting on like a little pier with the water right behind you. Sounds really awesome. awesome. That yeah, is so, good so awesome. <laughs> Almost sounds romantic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it definitely would be. I'm, you know, I'm like, you know how many moments Penguin has had on a pier? <laughs> <laughs> no good yeah. ones. You know how many times he's got shot into a lake on a pier? <laughs> uh, couple? At least <laughs> three. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, and let you know if you can't see the countdown, it's on five minutes. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yes. I can't. Just let you know. <laughs> I could never see it. I, I could barely. You know, it took um, Eric Alford to come on here last week and tell me, "Hey, you got to swipe right <laughs> to get a different view." Because I was like, "You're doing I great." Could, I, I couldn't see anyone. I couldn't. I was like. Well, they they had to talk for me to see them. It was like, oh, whatever <laughs> setting that is. <laughs> oh man, you know it's a different time. I like picturing all the Batman villains like on a Zoom call. And they're like, <laughs> okay, well we, we can't meet up, so we got to talk about this. Like, <laughs> you know what? That might be a good promo to get everyone in costume. So actually, I kind of love that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's an awesome yeah. idea. I'll do oh, a. Yeah. I can do a <laughs> iceberg lounge background, like. Yeah. You could actually right. do, um, I don't know if you guys saw it, Ryan Reynolds crashed the X-Men one. Yeah, yes. I heard about it. Yeah. Really? I didn't hear about that. Yeah, you can have one and it up at the end and everybody logs off. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, and that, wow. we can do that from our homes, you know? Yeah. I'll oh, stock you awesome. up on Penguin stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, another thing, if anyone has like a bat collection, wouldn't mind doing an episode at some point after we get all the cast interviewed in these vlogs, uh, just a special on people's, what they collect for mm. bat stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's <is> ready. <laughs> my son's confiscated most of my Batman stuff, so. <laughs> Guess you just had to have him be your co-host on that episode. Exactly, just give a tour of his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real bat cave. Exactly. <laughs> I have a few like collectibles and like I've got like a battering. Um, I've got a few like Batman action figures and stuff. A ton of Batman graphic novels. Oh yeah, yeah. So, that's what we want. We want to see all that stuff. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I look forward to it because I'm a huge collector some, of things too. I got some Batman guys hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Why don't you nice. show everyone? Healing. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm like, you can't just oh, say got, that and think you're going to yeah. get away. Batman oh, and right there. And nice. then I got some of the fam. And then, oh, nice. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm I think you kind of like it a little bit. We can't really see. Oh, <laughs> hold on. How do you turn the thing around? Oh, there should be a. F there oh, there it is. Verse. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Give me one sec. Hey, we Probably should be saving this for that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. This is the preview. You have the teaser at the end of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like toys come back in 10 episodes. Well, I've got a oh, yeah. well, got cow. Uncle Pop. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, this one's for you, Haley. Is that no we we're just talking about DeVito. Nice. Yeah. I have nice. the Gotham one. I have the um, Robin Lord Taylor penguin. Yeah. Now, I was thinking about uh, buying a bunch of these Roman Sionises and just signing a bunch and give them to the <laughs> cast. Hey, Matt. See, you've been going pretty crazy with the weights, all in preparation for the film. Uh, is it tr true? My understanding is before the part you, you weren't even lifting weights? <laughs> yeah, for the first... <laughs> two months of the quarantine i wasn't <laughs> I, oh, you, was, you weren't able to uh no -uh. oh. I, I, I i'm still not able to since yeah i was in phase one oh. but I, I, i've been working out now like yeah. but it's all home equipment stuff yeah like i've got my elliptical that i ended up buying because i was getting i was gaining way too much of the bad kind of weight <laughs> and so i ended up buying like a bench squat rack and those like adjustable dumbbells they can go from oh, like oh, yeah. five pounds to 52 and a half those are expensive too. yeah but ended up pretty much like putting together my own mini gym just because i got tired of waiting for the gyms to open because they're not going to be opening up this year in yakima no, no. But yeah. yeah but before filming starts though i am gonna because right now i'm concentrating on getting smaller i guess um but before filming starts i'm gonna concentrate on getting bigger to look more like the dark Knight rises vein or around that, those proportions i guess 
going to be uh, pretty exciting to see you guys together, you and Greg. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to be epic. Yeah, it'll be awesome, especially the choreograph fight. Yeah, I, so. get, I cannot wait to get knocked out by people. It's gonna be great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm learn trying to learn how to how to throw those punches without actually hitting anybody. So <laughs> my one acting career moment, I got also knocked out on yeah. stage. So apparently it is my uh it's my your type, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's crazy. You know, there they say there is no coincidences. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Played a tough farmer. If you've ever watched the musical Oklahoma, uh -huh. <laughs> I played Judd Fry in Oklahoma, um, and I got knocked out in a scene in my just you know high school, middle school production. It was not anything great, <laughs> but you know what? dedicated to the role. <laughs> You're in the same scene as Batman's introduction into the movie. Yeah, yeah, yep. pretty exciting. I'm excited to film the, I don't know, can we talk about the script? Yeah, oh, okay. just don't give too much away, but yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited for like, a, well, at the beginning of the script when we're all like talking and like a lot of the villains are all like together and stuff. I can't wait to mm -hmm. film that. Oh man, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I think that's one of the reasons we want to do the kind of almost got them scenario for the teaser, just to kind of revisit a bunch of villains at the table. Yeah, they have some really cool ideas how, how they're going to frame that scene too. That's that's going to be cool. Nice. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. I can't wait. We got to get you guys in Aaron so we could start at least feeling out the choreography. Yeah. Um, maybe we could do that the same day you come down and get your headshots. We can just do schedule that early or whatever and just spend the whole day together and just like kind of go over some stuff and. Just get like, a feel yeah. so when you guys are away you can kind of at least have an inkling of uh what we're gonna do you know yeah. and then whenever we can we'll anytime you're available we'll make sure i'll meet up and yeah yeah that'd be awesome yeah, i'm pretty free almost every weekend um the only weekend that i'm not is the july 4th weekend mm -hmm. and then the weekend after that but other than that like no plans at all Okay, you know what? Let's plan for the week after that. For, sure. Get your photos. And yep. Greg, help me remember that that's the day. So <laughs> was that about the 15th or so? Uh, um, I think so. Hold on. It'll be the 4th, <laughs> then the 11th, then yeah, it's the, the 18th. 18th. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Um, anyone who is available, Haley, uh, Greg, maybe we could find a certain time that works for everyone to make sure that we could all meet up with Matt and um go over some of the choreography and stuff yeah yeah I'm like saturday evenings i'm not available but if we were like i don't need headshot stuff so if we were doing choreography things kind of in that afternoon time that works for me okay write that down i'm putting it on my calendar now so i can remind you later okay you <laughs> yeah i should probably do that too <laughs> yeah It'll be exciting. Um, and when we go to film, say it's a Saturday, Sunday, and it's that fight scene, we'll spend the day before just running it over and over and over and over, and then we we'll film it on Sunday. So right. that fight scene with you two, because we, you know, we got to make up for all the times that we're not able to practice on a daily basis. So, and we got, we want it to be awesome. So yeah. we'll take the whole day just doing it over and over and over till you guys are like, okay, we got it. Nice. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I wonder if there's any like YouTube videos on like choreographed fights and stuff. Oh, there's tons. There's oh, so yeah. much stuff out there. You know what? Awesome. We'll film some of the choreography too, so you guys could have a copy when you get home and kind of help to yeah. keep it fresh in your mind and stuff. Nice. Okay. That'd be awesome. Yeah, and then again, once everyone has their outfits, it's, except for you, Haley, if we could always meet up in between times since you already got your stuff, but when you guys have your stuff, we want to do pictures at your earliest convenience. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've got a fair amount of photos from Eric. I actually have one printed out one. All right. Like the, for the first nice. time I ever wore a penguin. So it's a little better now, but 
There you go. <laughs> Looks awesome. Cool. This one's from yeah. Josh Shot photo, and he gifted it to me at Comic Con one year. But yeah, this is the first time I ever wore Penguin. This is a couple of years ago now, but that's you can kind of see all that in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's Should get a me. little <laughs> hang, hang on the wall. I do usually. I had it in my dorm, so I just haven't unpacked everything. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. That's but awesome. I think I see cool. uh, some people like print posters of some of those and have them hanging up on their wall. <laughs> that one makes a statement because I have that photo hanging in my dorm and people just don't know what to do with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Piece of art, piece of art you know? One of my shots in my Lord Draken uh, cosplay is actually going to be on the cover of um, the uh, Power Rangers comic. Like wow. officially. What? Yeah. Cool. That's epic. Yeah. I don't know you if I was supposed those? to say that, but I, I don't I think it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know uh, when the pre order comes up. I got to buy it. Yeah, because yeah, it's because Lord Draken is getting his own Power Rangers comic series. And um, uh, my photo, uh, well, it's. It's basically artwork of my photo that's uh -huh. done right now. And um, I guess that guy has like connections with Hasbro. And wow. Yeah. And I guess he's already submitted like what he's finished so far to Hasbro. And they're like, yeah, we want that as like oh, the man. cover. That's you know awesome. what? Man, I'm a, I don't know if you're a huge toy fan, but Hasbro pretty much makes like 98% <laughs> yep. of my toys. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. And man, I actually just speaking of Power Rangers, I just got a Ranger Slayer. Nice. Uh, I should show it to you real quick because man, they did a hell of a job. <laughs> but man, um, that's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah like post that. about it or something when it's able to be pre-ordered. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely that's amazing. Yeah, no, we definitely like what I noticed about comics. If you don't pre-order it, and it's a variant. I um, mean, you're not going to get it. So, yeah, definitely let us know. Let the group know. I, I'm, I bet you a lot of people wouldn't mind grabbing one, but definitely want to know because, man, I'm getting burned on some of those covers. Yeah. yeah. He sent me a picture earlier today of like how it's looking so far, but I don't know if you guys could see it. Oh, my God. Okay. I know what photo wow. that is, too. I'm like, <laughs> that's yeah. epic. That's killer. Yeah. We want to. And you know, it's almost even cooler than, cause you know how they'll have the cosplay photos. Uh -huh. But since it's like a art version, man, it looks like even next level. Like, cause I think one of the things that always gets me about the cosplay covers is the fact that it's blatantly a cosplay cover. Uh -huh. um, but that one looks so much, it, so accurate in the first place and then translated to art. It looks like that's the the drawing that the artist came up with. Yeah. So. You are canon now. You're <laughs> I know it's crazy. Yeah. Man, that's, that's awesome, awesome, man. You probably that's don't so know cool. Matt, but I'm a huge Power Ranger fan. Oh, yeah. Especially nice. like the originals. Uh-huh. Mighty Morphin. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Tell you what. Yeah, have... Like once I know more information about it in terms you of do. what it's exciting. You know, uh, I just got to say one thing about toys, too, because <laughs> you, you're the one who brought up Hasbro. Uh, so like, you were just looking for that. You were looking for that I'll, segue was, the whole time. Was, anyone says Hasbro, I'm like, huh. Um, <laughs> G.I. Joe is back this year after it's been like eight years since they've been on the shelf. And they're doing six-inch guys. Nice. That's, that's, oh yeah Haley you're not going crazy or not <laughs> I'm, I'm chill about it I'm, <laughs> I'm going fucking nuts like I Sergeant tell, Slaughter yeah, was yeah. my favorite G.I. Joe when I was a kid so hopefully you know what's funny um since G.I. Joe I'll have to send you a picture since G.I. Joe started taking off right now um some other company just did a kickstarter and made the Sergeant Slaughter compatible for that line no, really? Yeah. Oh, what? Man, he got a freaking 357 on one side and a, like a uh, like a knife on the other side that come out of the holsters and he's got like his hat with the glasses on. And uh -huh. But he's like, man, he looks really good. Like he looks compatible with these new G.I. Joe guys. Like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I'm um, a uh, 
huge Destro fan. Destro? Yeah. Destro. Oh, okay. Cobra Commander's right hand man. Yeah. That's like my favorite Joe. Nice. Yeah, yeah, sorry. We're yeah. supposed to be talking about Batman. Sorry. All right. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the Hasbro plug. We're done. I'm just saying <laughs> that. If, if the thought has crossed my mind before, Matt, that if I can only buy toys from one company for the rest of my life, it would just be Hasbro because they, they make everything. They just even got Ghostbusters. I just bought a Bill Murray, freaking <laughs> nice. Peter Bankman. Nice. He looked just like him. Like, okay, we, that's why we have that other episode later on. It's <laughs> just a teaser, you know, for the future. Things to yeah. look forward to. Don't get me started. <laughs> oh, we did. I think you got Don't yourself Don't get me started. started on 40th anniversary, Empire Strikes Back, <laughs> Boba Fett on the retro card, because I got 20 on pre-order <laughs> on Entertainment Earth. Don't get nice. me started on Don't get me started. Because <laughs> you don't want to know, because you'll be like, oh, he's leaving. You're wasting job. your money. You're a waste of Sorry, Greg. Sorry. <laughs> final thoughts. Greg, final thoughts going forward. I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you forgot the... Da -na 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 -na. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Chris? Final thoughts. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited to work with everyone. Ooh. This is going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to kick ass and make a badass movie. Yeah. Definitely. Greg, yeah, I feel like we. Same. Oh no, you're good. No, you're good. I feel like we cut you off, did we? No, All no, right. Yep. <laughs> Matt, what are your final thoughts for today? Not forever. <laughs> oh. For today. <laughs> Ominous. My final thoughts. Oh. Uh, just that I'm super stoked to be part of this. Like insanely honored that I was um, even like thought of for the role of Bane and. Like excited to just see everybody meet the other people that are part of this project that I haven't met yet, mm -hmm. um, and start filming. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a heck of an experience. Yeah, yeah a definitely. lot of a lot of good positive people. I think you'll like, man. You'll love everybody, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't that's me. Final thoughts going forward. Uh, yeah, I mean, just what people have said, I'm super honored to be part of this, especially with you including a penguin scene kind of later on. Um, that's super awesome. I'm excited to uh, bring Oswald to life in this film. And yeah. Well, we're excited to have you. And is it just me or is that penguin like almost the same size that you are? You know what? <laughs> um. Wow, my Zoom is breaking up. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> it's massive. Uh, I'm five foot four, so if that gives you any context. I don't know. Well, that's there four foot penguin. <laughs> <laughs> I am sitting down, so it is. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that explains a lot. But yeah, I'm excited. Hey um, thanks for coming. Thanks this for movie. Me. This movie would be nothing without you, Matt, you, Greg, Haley, Chris, because it takes all of us. And thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you Woo. Well, people at home, don't forget to tell your friends about me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. Specifically him. <laughs> That's sorry. That's the Batman line. <laughs> Tell your friends about <laughs> who, who are you? I want you to tell your friends about me. <laughs> oh man. Any final Michael Keaton impersonations from anyone? <laughs> from anyone. <laughs> you don't want to hear mine. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> no. <laughs> My first introduction to Batman was in German, so you don't want to hear it. <laughs> nice. Ich bin Batman. <laughs> <laughs> lipstick doesn't do it alone. Put lipstick <laughs> miss, miss with hair, hair stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, aerosol. Uh, that's about it. That's about it. <gasps> <Thank you. laughs>
this is my cue to go back to the iceberg lounge where I belong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs> <laughs> Don't no, get me started on doing the voice. <laughs> so around. <Hello>. Me. <laughs> you should hear when he yells, he starts coughing. After. <laughs> that's me That's me doing my squeaky penguin voice. I start coughing anytime. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot. No, thank People you. at home, citizens of the world. That's the Cobra Commander in me, sorry. <laughs> citizens of them. the world. <laughs> <laughs> Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, yeah, follow, yeah. vote for Cobblepot. Yeah, yep. glad someone <laughs> remembered it. I knew there was something, but he got it. Um, <laughs> we're also on yeah, I, IG. Yep. Yeah, press like, support other people that are like you. I don't Ooh, see why we gotta live in a society where. We gotta segregate everyone. Now. We don't. Hit the like. It doesn't cost anything. If you're watching this, <laughs> you must be a nerd. And we got something in common. A nerd. So just press the like button. What's the big deal? It's not really a big deal. I don't even know if if it's an anonymous <laughs> anonymous thing. I don't know who's pressing the button. I don't know. Just press it. Who cares? And don't forget to tell your mailman. Tell the milkman. <laughs> tell the rotor rotor guy. Uh, who, who else do they need to tell, guys? Oh, man. Your masseuse. Don't forget to tell your masseuse. <laughs> <laughs> your hair your acupuncturist. Hair stylist. <clears throat> yeah. Your wig stylist. Um, <laughs> Barber. Um, your, your sworn enemy. You know. Yeah. Um, your, your mom. Your boss at work, the one that doesn't yeah. like you very much, tell him <laughs> after he watches it, he'll like you. He'll like you after. Tell your exactly. kids. Tell your kids as friends. Mm. Tell your kids attractive mom. <laughs> the, the single one. Still trying to find my kids attractive mom. The soccer <laughs> one. The, the one with the soccer kid. Nice. The Volkswagen salesman, used Volkswagen guy. <laughs> oh man thanks Walk right up to a, a police officer and tell him too oh run up on him. if he's not trying to listen to you <laughs> grab him by the collar say hey jack don't you know we're living in a different world now listen here gordon <laughs> <laughs> look here flatfoot Ooh. you know we should probably not condone this behavior yeah, unless you want to join me in arkham yeah don't do that but uh <laughs> Maybe give them, you know what? You get a donut, you put a candle in it, you light it, and you say, Hi, officer, I got something for you. And the Joker's he, really jumping out right now. When he sees it, <laughs> he's gonna wanna he's gonna wanna eat it. After he eats it, he's gonna be in debt to you. And that's where you suggest, hey buddy, why don't you watch this blog? You'll like it. You'll really like so you're it. You're saying we gotta we're gonna blackmail the people into watching this. Stuff. No, you're just gonna sweet talk them mm. with sweets, real sweets, because nothing <laughs> help nothing works better than food. Food is like a great equalizer. Ask hungry people on the street, they'll tell you. <laughs> this this is a roller coaster of a of an ending. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm learning so I never much. know how to end these things. <laughs> Never want to say goodbye. I'm like Pee Wee Herman in that movie. Never say goodbye. It's so long for now. You guys are like Pee Wee movie. What the fuck are you talking? You know, the actor who plays <laughs> Pee Wee oh, Herman. Yeah, the actor who plays Pee Wee Herman is Oswald Cobblepot's father yeah. in Gotham. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, that's and and in Batman Returns. That's yeah. right. You know? Yeah, and the gal who played Carol Kane, who plays Oswald's mother in Gotham, they met at that premiere. And when Rob Lord Taylor was asked who he wanted to play his father and his parents, he was super hyped about Carol Kane and uh, Pee Wee Herman being his parents. Wow. That's nice awesome. Penguin fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. I know Pee Wee looked a lot different in uh, <laughs> Batman Returns. That That's what happens when you get in a scandal 
and you're out of work and you're like <laughs> my, my life is over now i gotta reinvent myself it's like a wrestler after he has a run with the character and he's like uh, i got this american badass character i guess i can do <laughs> i don't know i don't know <laughs> thank you america and thank you see you next time signing off <laughs> Good night, for, awesome. for, for real this time <laughs> bye y'all <laughs> all right see you guys later see ya. bye see ya